Anthony. Yeah, hey Colin, what's going on? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, absolutely. It's about... Happy Friday! Hey! Good morning! Hey, hey, how's it going? Good, good! Hey, 15 early like always, boss. Always arrive early. Early bird gets the coffee or the warm or whatever you told me. Yeah. But, uh, hey, Colin, you told me to do that PDF reader training? Guess what? I brought my own PDF readers. So I'm gonna get to work right now, okay? Yeah, I love that guy. So full of energy. You mind shutting the door? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll, uh... Close her up. What's going on? Why the long face? It's about Boris. What's going on with Boris? He's brilliant. Well, we've had a ton of flies up in the design office. Okay. We've been having to open the windows during the day. What are you implying? He has a smell and it's been distracting in the office. He's, are you saying he stinks? Yes. Well, that's, that's, that's a little rude. I mean, I guess I've never really noticed I'm just I'm focused on his creative designs his, his inspiring charisma Anthony he's been poaching animals outside the office in our office poaching yes that's a, that's a little across the line um I'm sure we can make it work but there was a squirrel in the microwave the other day in the microwave was he he at least I mean he was heating it it's better than raw I mean you gotta take the good with the bad. I just I just wanted to make you aware of it no that's fine I appreciate that. Here's what we'll do, Colin. I'll talk to him. We'll see if we can explain to him some of these things that should potentially change, and we'll go from there. How's that sound? All right. C can you do me a favor, Colin? Can you just try to be a little bit more like Boris, okay? See you, buddy. Have a good day. I love my job. Love my job. Fresh lunch. Hey, Boris. How's it going? Hey, boss. Hey. Yeah. Doing good. I'm doing great. Just gucking. Good, good, good to hear. Uh, do you have a minute to talk? Always, boss, always for you. What's up? Okay, so I've gotten some input feedback from the team. Positive, I bet? I, it, it, it's, it's not positive, Boris. They say there's flies in the office. They say you stink. They say you've been going to the yard to find animals for lunch, which is like considered poaching almost. Um, it's not about your work, Boris. It's just about some of the things that you do that are making others uncomfortable. Boss, you told me to be myself when I took the first day, when I came in. Oh, uh, yes, and I, I, love the, I love the voice, I love the charisma. There's just some of these things that are not safe in a work environment um, for the rest of the team. No, it's okay, Boris. No, Boss, I gotta put on my PDF readers. Boss, this is disturbing. I, I was raised to work the hardest, yes. the best, and this, this is too much for me to handle right now. Okay, well, just take a little time, think about it, Boris. It's no. it isn't personal. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna take an early lunch. I got fresh food. Could you just leave me alone? Yeah, I gotta go check on some projects. Well, can we circle up later? Yeah, whatever. Okay, it's okay. See you, Boris. See you, boss. Have a good one. Well, hopefully Colin and Boris can smooth things over at the office here, but today we're back at the new home build on Little Detroit Lake, where we're taking you beyond the blueprint. Well, if you notice today, I'm not wearing a jacket, and that's because the weather is finally starting to turn around here. So we have a lot happening on this job site. We're actually starting some of the exterior trims on the outside of the home to start the siding process. So it really starts to make that home look like a finished project. They're also working on doing some of the spray foam areas in the home, as well as hanging some of the sheetrock. So let's go take a look at uh, some of this exterior siding here. So around all these doors and windows, they're starting to place the trims. So essentially the trims get installed first and then they start to install the different siding types. So on this home, there's three different siding types as well as some stone to really help create a nice creative palette. Let's go see how the sheetrocking and insulation process is happening. So we're now staying in the garage here. You can see we've started to sheetrock and it's always interesting when you start sheetrocking a home, especially on the interior, it starts to feel a lot more like the finished space and you can start to see some of the compartments. You can no longer see through the walls. It actually appears bigger. So here we've got all the half inch uh, drywall on the walls, uh, five eighths inch on the ceilings here. You can see they've uh, started hanging this on these spaces and then they're actually gonna go back now that this drywall is hung and do the blowing and insulation in this ceiling space. Another element to look at is this home has a combination of spray foam and fiberglass insulation. 
So in some of these areas, like this cavity here with the uh, dryer vent would be hard to insulate with fiberglass, so we've come through and done a spray foam solution here in this space. This is an interior wall here, so we have sound insulation in all of the interior walls. And let's kind of head over here to check out some of this great room space. So the great room is actually going to have a flooring product that's installed on the ceiling. So this space right here has all been spray foam, so this is a hot roof, and we're actually not gonna install drywall up there. We're gonna install a plywood for our fire block, and that will also serve as a backer for all that flooring material that's gonna go on this vaulted space here. Let's take a look at some of the bedroom wing. So here in the master suite wing, you can see we've really started to get all this drywall hung, and it really starts to segment some of these spaces. Um, in the bathroom here, you can see we've hung a portion of this. We've actually framed down a soffit. There's gonna be some fun lighting there that kind of helps to illuminate the double vanities in this space. Um, in areas where we have tile, we're gonna not use drywall product. We're actually gonna use like a, a curdy board or a different material that's a little more moisture resistant in this space. That's about everything going on here. Let's head back to the office and see how everything's going there. What's that No. What's going on in there? Hey, 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 what's going on? Colin, stop, stop, stop. Hey, 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 that's enough. I had enough of him. What's going on here? He told on me. What did, what did he say? Horse, you smell. You know what, Colin? You look stinks. Okay, Boris, Colin, take a breather. Take a breather. We can work through this. No, boss, I don't think we can. I had enough of Colin. He's put me in it. Horrible situations. Colin, what was the breaking point here? Anthony, the microwave. No, don't. That's my fresh lunch. Boris, didn't you just microwave an entire squirrel? What am I supposed to do? Use your air fryer? It doesn't even work. No, you're supposed to go to the store or restaurant, Boris. No, I don't have any money yet. We talked about this this morning. You know what, boss? And you do have money, Boris. You just don't know how to use it. Enough is enough, boss. I've had enough of you. Especially, Colin, I've had enough of you, too. What do you mean? What are you going to do? Go back to the woods? No, indeed. Indeed, that God that is. I took a job. I used your laptop. Why? You, you have your own laptop, Boris. Doesn't matter, yours is faster. And I took a job in New York City. So I'm out of here, boss. You think this feels constricting? Good luck in New York, Boris. Whatever, boss Colin, I never liked you. I cannot believe that just happened. We're better off without him. He's, you think he's gonna be okay out there? You think he's gonna find any other animals?